lot of small acreage here, a lot of rabbits running around, they had no pressure on them. We just set up for our first hole, it's got in the creek. Um, on Peter Taylor, this is the famous dale. And what we've done is we've put the perimeter net right down through the creek, but we've run a couple of short stop nets just in there to help break up.
see how we go. Give you an idea, these hundred on holes, if we were using purse nets, it takes 30 seconds to put a purse net on. Look at 50 minutes to net this up. We netted this up here, I met kind of, and it took us 11 minutes to set it up, and now we're ready to go. So we've saved 40 minutes, it's all hunting time. Trip over. What did you say, Trip over? Nothing. You can't see past this over there. Should have went around that one. <laughs> It's going in and out over this side. This ground soft. Yeah, isn't there a ferret, a ferret down in there? 
Yeah, I've seen one. Oh, okay. So, I put her over here. Is she over there? No, she hasn't popped back up, but that's where I'll put her. Yeah. This side. Down. Yes. I'll put it up as soon as you put that up. He's got one on that side. Oh, God. Okay, so one over there, come watch that. One dangle in there, and there's one down here. Where she must have went. So I think that's the little one that was over there. Oh, there you Actually, he was out of the net. Dale. Oh, okay, for goodness sake, yeah, he's just wandering around.
picks up yeah. and dies is where the rabbit starts moving. Then it'll pick up again, they'll stop, then I'll go again once the wind stops. You want to down there? No, I'm sorry. on a hole. So it's 18. Try getting into that hole. I haven't seen the pole cat. Buck. I want him to do play nice. Like that's four that stopped me, it's good. Hmm. Hey. Well, he's not going off in there, Lee.
go. Yeah, good day everyone. Well, we've just finished this set of holes, and out of this set of holes, we've got 13 rabbits. On it. 15. 15 rabbits, I've just been corrected. So, yeah, as you can see here, out of two sets of holes with uh, six ferrets, that only one of them have been down a hole before. We haven't done too bad with five. Yeah, it's been a good morning and yeah, quite a success. It was hard bolting some of them out of there. They worked really hard and uh, but yeah, we had a good day. Okay, thanks a lot. See you later. Go. How are you going? Um, me and Peter went out today with Leanne and, and his wife, Leanne, and we got 20, 22 rabbits in two holes. So we've done a really good morning run. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Peter. I was up here to give Peter a hand today. But I'll give you to Peter. He can rabble off what he's got and what's for sale and what is not for sale. And yeah, I'll, I'll hand it straight over to Peter. There you go. Thanks, Dale. No worries, mate. Yeah, g'day everyone. Um, my name's Peter Taylor. Uh, been ferreting for probably 55 years now. Um, all our life, all my life, I've been sitting there, and and there's not been a lot of stuff available for people who ferret. If you find stuff, it's only a little bit here and a little bit there, and you've got to chase it. And so, what my wife and I decided about eight years ago was to try and accumulate stuff of good quality and make it available like a one-stop shop for people who want anything to do with ferreting. So. It's evolved from very little to where we are now. Now we import stuff directly from England and to ensure the quality and we aim at the best we can at the most affordable prices for people. Um, we've got, as I said, I've got, here's our ferrets. These all the ones here are just what we've bred this year. We've had them out today running. So we, uh, we carry we cater for things for people that we've got all the net making gear for people. You know, we have the twines, we have the rings, we have the net, the cages, the needles, all the stuff that anyone who ever wants to try and make a net there. We have uh, purse nets, we have, at the moment we have two different sizes of purse nets. These are the three and a half foot purse net with a very fine mesh on them and they will catch down the little kits and everything. Um, there we have the standard four foot net. This is all coming straight from England with the normal standard two inch gauge mesh on it there. Um, great quality. They're all spun poly, not cotton or cotton substitutes. Then we have our long nets there, this is a 100 yard long net, we have 50 yards, we have 25 yards, we have all combinations in between, then we have stop nets, stop nets are used for covering small gaps or to help put in between the holes to stop rabbits from hole hopping, there they range from 5 yards, 10 yards, 15 and up to 20 yards, 20 yards is nearly too big but it's, uh, it's there and then we have, we make carry boxes in I think it's about 10, 12 different styles at the moment that we do from single boxes to doubles. This is a double with a centre compartment for you can put your knives, uh, nets, all that sort of things in the middle there. You put a can of drink in there if you want to while you're going along and you've got your ferrets on the sides here yeah. um, and also we, we cater for if someone wants a specific style that we that suit their own needs and we've even brought in at the moment this is a new thing that comes from England it is a, um, a harness for when you're walking and you you've got your arms full of carry boxes and nets and ferrets and shovels and that 
last thing you want is to um, carry rabbits as well. This goes over your shoulders and sits down the sides. Ferrets, the, the rabbits slide in there and you can hold three aside, so it's six back to the car. Yeah, and you make cages for people that want stuff. Um, we've got a whole heap of different things. We've, our range is just um, increasing all the time. We have a lot of people that have come up with us with different ideas that they've used themselves. And you know, their grandfather used to use this sort of thing and we've enhanced those ideas and our range is increasing all the time. We're still sourcing stuff from England to enhance our range. And uh, yeah, it's very enjoyable. We have, it's amazing the amount, you know, we, we supply people from West Australia to New Zealand. Uh, with here, we'll ship it anywhere in Australia. It's not a problem and we'll, if we haven't got it, we'll go to the 100 yards to get it to the people and source it out. So if you ever need anything or just the information, just contact us and we can steer it, help you out or steer in the right direction. Thanks for listening. Um, Peter, would anybody want like a basket like that, what you got there with your ferrets in the carrying basket, would you, would you supply them with that as well? This sort of thing? Yes. Not a problem. Not a problem? Yeah. We, uh, we make cages out of either steel or timber and we make them to our, the requirements of the client. We either make single cages, the biggest cage we've made up has been seven divisions long. So each division's been half a metre, so it's three and a half metres in total length with the sleeping boxes on it and that sort of thing. Uh, I've made ferret cages that have had to be portable so that they can put down and put on the roof of a car so that they can be moved wherever they're going and yeah, it, uh, yeah this sort of thing, perfect for the back of the ute. Um, plenty of room for the ferrets to be, if you're going away over the weekend and plenty of ventilation, plenty of air, plenty of space for them to rest up after a hard day's ferreting and uh, yeah. As yeah. you can see there, the ferret there, the ferrets that we used today where we got the 22 and they, they got comfortable, you know, we've got, Peter's got clothes in there so it keeps them nice off the wire and they're snuggling in the wood so they had a good day, good morning for us today and we got pretty, pretty well one, there's a few, how many young ones are there Pete? Um, there is eight young ones and one older doe. In you there. see. So we only took out one experienced ferret and the rest were either the first time out, one other has been down a hole three days ago. But yeah, they're all pretty well, they're all missing these seasons except for one. Yeah. All right. Now, are you up for selling these ferrets and that when the time comes? Or? Yeah, when I sell them, I breed them to improve my hunting line uh, and that's what I mainly breed for, just to always evolve to improve uh, the drive and the mannerisms of the ferret. Um, and anything, some people will, yeah, there is some for sale, but I don't necessarily, I don't purely breed just to supply the so, so if someone comes in, they want the whole kit and caboodle, you got it here for sale, Exactly. in other words. Yeah, if it's supply from the ferret through to the house, to keep it in through to the hunting gear. The only thing I don't supply is rabbit. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's good. No, it gives people to know if they want to get in contact with you. What we'll do is, we'll, you want to give them your phone number and, and that, or you want to go up yeah. on, on my web page again, we'll put it all back up, or? Yeah, you can put it back up on the web page. Um, yeah, they are, my phone number's 0429-945-154. Facebook? And on Facebook, we are Ferret Netting and Equipment Australia. And that pretty well states exactly what we've got. Ferret Netting and Equipment. And yeah, purely Australian. And we offer the best we can for the most affordable price. And it's all coming in from overseas, from the place that 
virtually rabbit and started from yeah. England. And not from China. Not from China. No China because stuff here. No Chinese stuff is here. Um, that's been our one prerequisite for everything we've sourced. If anyone, any original product is manufactured in China, then we won't stop it because time and time again, the products from China have let us down and they've let us down at the worst possible times. Yes. Anything else? Anything else you want to add? Or no, I just thanks for listening and if you got this far, well, I'm impressed. <laughs> and if, yeah, if you care to rig me, it won't be a short conversation because I can talk ferrets all day. Thanks a lot. So everyone, that you know, Peter sells everything for everyone. Start from the cage to the ferrets, nets, long nets, carrying boxes, whatever you need, he's got it here. So if you want to talk to him about what he's got here, just give him a buzz. It gives him satisfaction to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, right. there you go. Talking. Thanks yeah. for taking me out, Pete, today. Thanks for having me. No worries. There you go. We're finished for today and we're going to head off home because Pete has to go out and we'll catch up with you at the next hole. Catch you then. Bye for now.